An understanding of nature and conservation is an important part of Indigenous culture, but when it comes to jobs in the environmental science sector, Indigenous Australians are underrepresented. A new school program in the top end is working to change the statistics by focusing on this traditional knowledge in the natural world of science. Louisa Rebgetz reports. <music> My mother and her sister's teachers when we was little how to go hunting for oysters and other bush tuckers. We have 21 students in the Junior Rangers program um, and we've had 100% retention from them. The, the, the trapdoor is actually called an operculum. These Indigenous students from Camilda College are in the middle of a science lesson in the ultimate outdoor classroom. And if you just touch him a bit, he will... They're taking part in the Junior Ranger program on Elko Island in northeast Arnhem Land. It's teaching them about science and the natural world, using their traditional knowledge of their environment as a starting point. You'll say, what do you know about, you know, marine environments, or what do you know about the ocean or the sea? And they'll say, nothing. And then you start asking them more and all the little stories come, come out and things that they just take for granted that they know. The aim of the whole project has been to try and engage young Aboriginals in understanding a bit more about science. And if we get them when they're younger, these sort of ages, they all of a sudden begin to understand that science is fun. As they fly in early in the morning at the start of the two-day excursion, there's plenty to look forward to for those students returning to their homeland. The boarding school they attend in Darwin is a world away from Elko Island. Now I feel like home when I went on the plane and I seen the sea, I felt home. Some of them find it very difficult being away from home and from family, uh, but programs like the Junior Rangers, um, where we involve uh, their innate knowledge, if you like, of how they see the world as part of the learning context of the school, that really helps uh, with retention. So you've been chosen to do this because we know that you're very interested in nature. But keeping kids and happy at school isn't the only aim of the program. Remote Indigenous students across the Northern Territory lag behind when it comes to numeracy and literacy. Are they soft or are they leathery? For many, English is a second or third language. Educators say the Ranger program is helping build students' confidence. And just because they have low literacy and numeracy levels doesn't mean that they can't think or have profound ideas or a great understanding of the world in which they live. And the Junior Ranger program obviously bring, brings that out. It's been amazing. To start off with, they were really quiet and shy and didn't really talk too much but then they've, they've coming out of their shell. For Professor John Buckridge, an environmental engineer from Melbourne's RMIT University, the program has been a learning experience. He's amazed by the scientific knowledge these Indigenous children have learned from their elders. I was fascinated to see the young children breaking open pieces of mangrove wood and breaking out the worms from those, and I'd never seen that before. That was kind of special to see that. The plan is to expand the Junior Ranger program to other communities. And eventually, organisers hope the program encourages Indigenous students to use their knowledge to look after their own country. We'd love to have more Indigenous Rangers working on country and, and employed within parks and wildlife. Hopefully this sparks more interest in looking after country. Yeah, I do like science, like um, environment, looking after animals and describing it and studying for it. What do you think would happen if it was dislodged from the rock? You know, if it became loose? It would die. If we were able to get one to go and do science and engineering, um, that would be a great achievement for us. And it would be a great achievement for, for Australia to start to get those numbers coming through.